I'm over the whole time. Not FCC friendly. Isn't that smart? Well, I'm going to screen it. <clears throat> Haven't had time. Well, if, but if there's a risk, you just throw it in the trash. That's what you do. That's what they want. They well, don't want radio play. There may be some great cuts on there that, that, uh, that are FCC friendly. And, and who gets fired? Not them. We do. Yeah, poor desk jacket got fired yesterday. Made a little mistake. Forgot to edit a word out. <laughs> it got on the air. Is that uh, your cable? No. Oh, California. Yeah. yeah. Don't you wish we could still say words like meat and tool and unit without someone turning it into something foul? <laughs> Those are our words. I say let's take them back. <laughs> Golly, that's a fine America. Take our words back. From South Austin, Hank Hill. Uh, Colbert County out in beautiful Bastrop County. Now would be a good day to go out there. I think, well, there's never been a better time, you know that, to buy a car. Bastrop right County, Texas, bad. Cedar Creek. This is the home of the spring, which is... Uh, building a conference center. This lower part is the uh, kitchen, and and that's the efficiency up above that. Now, first, we'll go take a look at the upstairs. We're heading up the, the stairs here at, at Cedar Creek, Texas. This property is right on the creek itself. We're going to go into the front door now and do a virtual tour of 182 Clover Road in Cedar Creek. If you're interested in the property, you should uh, call 512-699-4000 and ask for Paul or Dorothy. We're in the main room now. This is the staircase where we're going to put a railing on it, and then that will go up to a loft upstairs there. You're looking at the loft area. Let's take a real good look. It, this is like the walkway, and then we have a, another loft area there. This is a large central room. It's 18 feet by 32, and it is ideal for conferences or meetings or gatherings or anything of that nature. We're getting a very good look at the south end of the building which has a door that goes out to a deck. Let's go out on the deck. Here we are on the deck. As you can see, we have a deck that goes all the way down and around the corner here, and then goes down this way toward the north end of the house. And then it, it wraps around the front there. So that's the deck. It's a total wrap around deck. Let's go back in the house here at 182 Clover Road. The number to call if you're interested in the property is 512 699 4000, or you can call 581 9617. Let's take a look at the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. As you can see, there's going to be a counter there and a stove and a sink area and a large cupboard in here. This is a very large cupboard area that, that we're going to have. And then it features three bedrooms. This is, all the bedrooms are identical, they're essentially identical. This one's painted, the floor needs to be cleaned, it's got a hardwood floor and uh, ceilings. That's a pine floor that's stained and varnished. When we, we shine it up and uh, polish it up, it's going to look good. And we have these large closet areas here. Here's another large corner room. There's four 12 by 14 corner rooms in this building. One of those is a kitchen and then there are three bedrooms in this top section of the complex. The downstairs uh, also has four 8 by 12 corner rooms. Here's a closet. There's a closet. 
You can see there's a large loft area in this room. And then uh, in here is the bathroom. The bathroom is in here. Got a nice sink, a shower tub, and a toilet. Got some nice light fixtures above the sink. Here's some pictures of the fixtures. Here's the shower head. Nice, nice uh, self-contained tub and toilet area. Heated. There's a five-ton heat pump in this unit. A five-ton heat pump that's one year old. It was just. Uh, installed recently and you can see the controls there. We've got a Honeywell uh, programmable thermostat that you can use to program it with. Let's go up to the loft real quick and take a look up there. We're going up the stairway to the loft now. Here's one of the heat ducts. And here is some wiring, future wiring. The entire house is wired for Ethernet, satellite TV, cable TV, and Internet. So uh, there's, there's phone wiring throughout the house. Multiple phone outlets, uh, Ethernet outlets, and and uh, cable TV outlets in each room. Today the Time Warner people are here installing a broadband connection for a T1 line. So there is a T1 line available at the property. Let's take a look. We're up in the loft area now. We're looking from the north to the south. The south is facing, is fronted by Cedar Creek, but we're looking at looking at the south end of the loft. Now we're going to go and take a look to the north and see what we can see. And we're looking to the north now. And that's what it looks like from the north. Okay, let's go back. Oh, let's go out the door here and take a look out on the uh, balcony there. We'll see, we'll see if we can spot that crew. Do you, do you think you could do any better? This is from the roof. As you can see, we're pretty high up here and we have a rooftop deck. This is our rooftop deck. If a qualified candidate came up, the government would assassinate him. Exactly. Brother. Exactly. Oh, Today is election day. It's an important day for Bush2004.com. That's our website. If you'd like to see a virtual this virtual tour of the property, go to our uh, website at. Bastropbuilder.com. Go to Bastropbuilder.com and see a video of this. Up the and I don't know if you can hear our sound system around the pool, but we right have a thousand-watt sound system here. American people have to stop right now. This is our. Uh, <laughs> so far, but this is our uh, box that feeds this that house. That's the electric uh, box w. Bush that feeds the house. We need to get a meter plugged and, into uh, it. Greet the public. But that's the uh, meter uh, box there. Audience, other than one that has been screened. Because he knows people hate him generally. I mean, he won't take that chance to go out on the street and talk to people. He hears what was told him by whatever. I guess he wants to hear it. Because what he wants to hear is kind of like, oh, it's a wonderful world, according to me. But I'm going to vote tomorrow. I'm going to vote for a change. But I tell you my right as an American citizen, keep that vote for myself. As do I. That's a. Uh... Very responsible of you. Very nice. Very well put. 
Wow. How did you get him out, Danny? Man, I think it's better than people aren't voting. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where he went. 825 will be right. Martin Boyer, my good friend from Austin Boats and Motors, says, buy a boat now before it gets hot. You get a rebate of up to $4,000. You're invited to our huge drive before you buy sell. Come test drive top quality boats. So anyway, uh, back to the tour here. Largest boat builder, Glastron, Austin's number we don't need this anymore because Ty Warner's here today. We were planning to put up a multiplexed uh, satellite direct TV system. We have one operational direct TV dish now, but uh, basically that is... Uh, that's uh, something that we will we'll not really be needing. So anyway, that was the tour of the roof. Now we're back in the house here. And let's uh, head down downstairs to the uh, ground level here. We got to take a quick run through on the ground level and take a look at the rest of the building. So let's go take a quick look at the efficiency. This is the efficiency right here. This is the efficiency apartment. And as you can see, it has a closet. It has uh, counters, kitchen counters. Quite a few, quite an extensive uh, kitchen. Uh, there's a shower unit and a uh, uh, a toilet with its own little room, a little toilet room here. And that extends out to the deck. And then uh, also it has access down the stairs. We're going down the stairs now. These are the uh, stairs that go to the efficiency and to the unit we just showed you. Now we're going downstairs. There are two entrances downstairs and two entrances upstairs. Going into the downstairs, this is our phone ringer, ringer to hear the phone if you're out in the yard. This is the tool room right now, but it'll be one of the downstairs bedrooms. Downstairs bedrooms are much more conventional than the upstairs. They uh, basically, uh, basically they uh, follow the same form factor. You've got a little in a closet. Let's take a look at another one. Central area, just like up to 18 feet by two feet, consisting of three rooms. This is the first room, which could become an entry room or one room. And you have a small area here. And you have a kitchen in here. This is the kitchen. And this is a corner. Oh my goodness, we have a bird in here. We better open the window. Because there's a bird flying here, we'll give the bird a chance to get out of here. So, let's open the door. Come on, birdie. Come on. And we he can get out here too. There's there's a couple of large. Uh, let's go out to a deck. This is a deck area out here. This is our deck area. And uh, the kitchen, kitchen in here. Counters, refrigerator. This is another corner room, another corner room, and a bathroom, and adjoining old uh, cast iron tub and a sink, a pedestal sink, and a toilet, and a vanity. We're going to put some shelves in here. All the floors in here will be the hardwood style that we saw. So this room, this is the fourth downstairs bedroom. It's painted yellow. Uh, it go this this bedroom over here. This is the center closet, like we saw upstairs. It, it could be converted into a bathroom. And there, these are the decks out here that, that go around outside of this part. We got this deck and this deck over here as well. And then there's the deck above that, which we were on up up there. There's the up upper deck. And there's plenty of storage under the building there's uh, approximately uh, six you know three thousand five hundred square feet of store under under the building this is a uh, closet here a very large closet the bedroom 
the, the bath area, the attached bath area, and this will be a corner. Uh, and then we have this section, which is another bedroom in here. Actually, we have the electricity out in this room, so I could actually get a little light on the subject in here. It's carpeted, it's a yellow color paint job. And a ceiling fan. Always have ceiling fans. This uh, this um, has a uh, has a ceiling fan, and it has a nice uh, bedroom in here. Down in here. Uh, little cottage area here, nice kitchen, a nice kitchen area, and a, a bath combination uh, bath and uh, bathroom and laundry room. The uh, toilet and the nice little counter area. And of course, and it has the two very deck areas. Here you've got the deck. In the backyard, and uh, in the front deck out here. This is the front porch here. I guess it's time we head back to the main. We're getting a pretty good look at this uh, at this uh, property. We're looking at about. 6,000 square feet in this building. You're looking at uh, about 14 rooms, 14 more rooms you want to figure that out. Figure that out. It could be either way. We're going to be able to get close. We have a tremendous amount of storage area underneath. We're going to be able to get storage area underneath. We're going to be on these walls down here to include. See? It has a good uh, storing hard drives or computers or. Whatever you have that you need to store, we'll get this. This area will all get enclosed, and we'll uh, be on here. Which piece looking at the dam? Down here, you're looking at. Uh, we'll get a good view of the south portion of the house. I think that's the most uh, interesting perspective. Let's take a look at. See the uh, stone up to this next deck level there. This is the south face of the Cedar Creek. This is a very good shot of the house. This is the side of the house miles away. And then we'll just uh, walk down this hill to get to the creek. See behind our house and the pillars of plant and uh, These are huge pecan trees here, and then uh, this morning. Wow! Yeah. Oh, thank you. Woo! A star born. <laughs> 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 There's no guy named Eddie. <laughs>